everyone, Tetra 35 here, and today we're going to be beginning a new career mode in FIFA 21. And for those of you who have watched my Hamburg career mode, it was pretty much a return to glory career mode. And this one's going to be a road to glory career mode. And the teams I decided to choose is in the third division of German football, and that team is Saarbrücken. And for those of you that may not have heard of Saarbrücken before, Last season, they became the fourth division team ever in Germany to reach the semifinals at the DFP Pokal whenever they defeated Fortuna Dusseldorf in the quarterfinals in order to make it there. But anyway, as you can see here, they were established in 1903. They were founded and they are based in Saarbrücken, of course, and the area that the car that is in is called Saarland. Which actually used to be its own protectorate. It was under, it went between French and German ownership. And as a matter of fact, the Saarbrücken government is the owner of this team. And it's not very often where you get to see a team owned by the government, which I think is very unique among European teams. But anyway, like I said, they currently compete in the Dry Liga, the third tier in the football league system of Germany. And, um, but yeah, I, was following the Cinderella story and the DFP Pokal last season. And whenever I found that they got promoted to the Dry Liga for this season and they were going to be in this year's FIFA, I said to myself, I have to do this team as a career mode, as uh, for a, a Road to Glory career mode. And you can probably see the their kits down below, at least their shirts. I think their kits look fire for a Dry Liga team, and I can't wait to see what this team's all about. But we're going to go ahead and advance. Professional difficulty, five minutes, loose. International jobs are going to be disabled. And like I did with my Hamburg career mode, I am going to do a financial takeover. I am going to do a 500, 500 million. But I'm going to do things a little bit different uh, than what I did in my Hamburg career mode, considering they are a dry league team. But um, anyway, we're going to go and pick a stadium here. And... There, it has a capacity of 19,000, which is the closest thing that they have in real life. And the name of the stadium that they're actually playing is the Ludwigsburg Stadium. So hopefully I can fit that all in this spot right here. Ludwigsburg Stadium. I'm hoping this fits. Just double checking. Yes, that is how it's spelled. Uh, apply and exit. Now, this isn't going to be a real long video because I'm just starting this particular career mode. But um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do this. Uh, pretty much, did I'm not sure if I want to do like I did in the first season of my Hamburg career mode or just play all the way through. Uh, or just, I've got to figure that out yet, but whatever I decide to do, I'll do. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and advance. Football is back in the Dry Liga at the start of every new season. The sun is shining on our hopes and dreams to pass behind us. We're focused now on what might be and what's going to be. The first game of a new campaign. First day of the rest of our footballing lives. But yeah, I am super excited to start a, a career mode on this team. And it's like I said, when I, I followed this story last season through the Dry Liga, and now that they're in FIFA, I can't wait to play as them. But anyway, we're going to save here. You probably already noticed that I did, I did start another career mode on 1860 Munich. And it's probably a good thing that I did because... Okay, let's see. Can I do special keys? Yes, I can. Because it has that umlaut over the U. I mean, not that it really matters, but I just want to make this as... At least the, be respectful of their name and actually put it there. And we're going to go ahead and... We're, go we're going to skip the invitation. There's really no reason for us to go there. And you can see my manager right here. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I give you House Caller. I really couldn't think of a cool German name to give him, so that's what I went with. And I am playing as a guy manager this time because I played as a lady manager for Hamburg. The what the if I do another career mode after this, I will go back to being a woman. But anyway, we're gonna gonna see a look at their kits, which I think, like I said, they look fire in my opinion. But anyway, you can see that new owners aim at success for Sauerbrücken. And this happens every time you opt for the financial takeover. And let's just look at the emails real quick. Um, transfer information, Youth Academy. We'll get to see what a Youth Academy looks like. Um, Timo Sommer is the guy that we're going to be dealing with. Let's see what you, our, our Youth Academy that they give us at the start of this career mode. Okay, we got this Colombian guy, Victor Peralta, has a potential from 70 to 94. Man, those kits look nice. And we have Kletos Sertzatakis. Sorry about that. He's 15, only 46 rated. Again, potential from 70 to 94. Um, we got Thanasi Kalas, also from Greece. I think this game's trying to tell me to do... Um, Scouting in Greece, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. And uh, 15 years of age, uh, potential 60, 66 to 90. And we got this guy, Sem de Haan from the Netherlands. Uh, potential 73, 94, 54 rated right now. Can be either a right winger or a right mid. You can see this guy's a left winger. You got a cam slash center forward. When you have a cam slash center midfielder slash center forward. So, very interesting prospects we have so far. We only have 26 players in our roster so far. Let's just go ahead and sim this training day before we get started here. Okay, we got M. Zeitz. Uh, welcoming us. We'll take a look at the team here pretty soon. See, Manuel Zeitz, uh, CDM, important squad role. Greetings, boss. On behalf of the whole team, I wanted to welcome you to 1FC Uh I've got plenty of work to do. The future's exciting. We'll do future's exciting, which it better be, considering I ejected half a billion dollars into it, but... Anyway, let's look at the team here real quick. You can see that they play a 4-4-2 two, two formation, which I'm just going to make that a flat formation. Actually, it's a 4-4-2 holding, I'm sorry, but I'm going to change it to 4-4-2 flat. And, uh... You can see there's, uh... Let's, let's look at our bench real quick. As you can see... Not the most terrible team for a dry league of team. I, but the, the entire starting 11 is hovering around the mid-60s. And even their bench isn't too bad. There's only one player that's below 60, and that's the, the backup goalkeeper. But, yeah, this really isn't that bad of a team. And let's look at our reserves here real quick. You can see uh, some 60s, but most of them are 50s. But yeah, having said that, I am going to spend money on some decent players here for this team. And and that's what I want to get to next, which I'm going to show you the transfer budget. We have 502.34 million, uh, million in the transfer budget with 12k. We're going to go ahead and just adjust that a little bit. We'll adjust it to there. 467 million. That should be more than enough to get what I need to. Um, let's go ahead and hire some youth, uh, a youth staff here. Um, gonna go ahead and hire. Okay, what can we do? Experience judgment. Let's go with the four-star, four-star one for that one, and we're going to go and hire... I did want to send somebody to the Netherlands. Uh, let's 
do I want to do another four star? I'll do another four star, four star. It seems to me that I've been having a lot of luck with four star, four star scouts. Because five star, five star, at least in my um, 1860 Munich save, is a bit disappointing, and I don't want that for this particular career mode, so. But uh, I'm going to wait to the uh, 1st of August before I send them out. I do want to send, I'm probably going to send the one star, one star to Germany. I'm going to send the other two to Greece and Netherlands. But anyway, let's look at our, our expectations here real quick. Um, Dry Liga finished mid-table. Within two seasons, have at least one player from a youth academy signed in the first season. Play at least 30% of the games. And within the same season, sign two crucial players. Make a profit of $56.5 million. Uh, I already read that one. Get seven clean sheets in home matches this season. Which may be a little bit of an ask. Financial, very low priority along with youth de development. Within the same season, sign two, which I already said that. Domestic success, low priority, finish my table. Very low priority, continental success, no objectives. No surprise there. But the last thing I want to talk to you guys here before I end this video, and I promise I will end this video soon, is that I'm not sure, I'm sure a lot of you guys that play FIFA are already aware of this. Especially since, uh, I believe FIFA 18. But, um, whenever you're playing a lower league side, whether it be a Dry Liga team, or a Serie B team, or an English League 2 team, you can't just go out, especially with a financial takeover like this, you can't just go out and buy anybody you want because, um, especially up in, the, like, the top, uh, tier, uh, leagues, you won't be able to buy anybody because it'll tell you that they're unwilling to locate. And the only way you can, especially if you're playing a Dry Liga team like I am, the only way you're going to be able to sign players is if you go over here and you go over and you push release clause. And that's the only way you'll, you'll be able to buy uh, players in that. But I'm going to come up with a, uh, which I'm going to do all the transfer stuff off camera, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and just see who I can buy. Uh... The team that I showed you just a couple minutes ago, I can pretty much almost guarantee you that none of them will be in my starting 11 by the time the next video uh, is out. But, um, yeah, I'm going to see who I can find on a decent release clause. And I I do want to also say that I really don't want... I'm not going to go insane and buy, like, 80-plus rated players. I want to get... My ideal is to get anybody from, like, the low 70s to mid-70s range if I can. If there's somebody that up in the high 70s that looks really good that can grow, I'm, I'll am i be willing to do that. But my main area is to get and get players from between se uh, 70 and 75 um, overall that has decent potential in that. But, um, like I said, I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want to bore you guys with chances. But, um... But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call it for this video, and we're going to start off, we're going to go to the, that, that's what, let's take a look at the calendar real quick to see who we're going to play. As you can see, we're, we're going to start the season against VFB Lubeck, and we're going to get this away game here against Turkiju um, Munich, which happens to be a third team from Munich in Dry Liga alongside 1860 Munich and Bayern Munich too. So in the next video, we'll be playing these two teams. And you can see August, we got Waldorf Mannheim, Kaiser Schlauten, Hallescher, and Ingolstadt. But, um, yeah, that's going to be an idea of what to expect in the next two videos of the series. Like I said, I can't wait to start playing as this team. I think it's going to be real exciting career mode. Hopefully, I'll get some decent players that we'll see grow throughout the seasons. As I plan to make this team go from the dry Liga to being a Bundesliga powerhouse and hopefully be a European powerhouse like I did with Hamburg. That's the goal for this career mode, and I can't wait to start it. And hopefully, you guys can't wait to watch this as well. But, um... But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this series as much as I am going to play this. And I'll see you guys again next time.